in a way that makes it you know, not necessarily as critical to determine, all right, who are my starting offensive linemen going to be in this particular situation with this team um, while they work through non-padded practices at this point. But we're, uh, we're always happy to have people sit down here with us at Titans training camp and looking forward to catching up with new Titans corner Sean Murphy Bunting, who's here with us now on 104.5 The Zone. How we living, big dog? Hey, man, I'm living good. How about yourself? Man, it's good to be back out here. Good to see you guys back out on the yes, practice sir. field. How the vibes? Vibes are always high, man. Yeah? Uh, yes, sir. Always high. So level of competition today between offense and defense. Did you like the work that you got in? Saw a lot of guys making plays on both sides of the ball. Absolutely. I think uh, every time you get a chance to come out here and – you know, do what you love to do and just try to get better each and every day, man. It's always going to be fun. It's always going to be a blessing. And um, obviously going against the receivers that we have and Traylon and Kyle and uh, D-Hop, is, you're, you're just getting better each day. So I'm um, just grateful and blessed for the opportunity to just continue to get better. Yeah, the, the opportunities you mentioned to go up against those skill position players, now including DeAndre Hopkins, as you mentioned, who's uh, out here for his first Titans practice. Uh, you've been with uh, your teammates now for a little while longer, but it seems like everybody's starting to get acclimated yes, sir. Uh, at this point to one another. What was it like to go up against all of the skill position players, and then what, what did you kind of get off working off D-Hop today? Oh, man, uh, that's a, obviously a future Hall of Famer, you know, so anytime, like I said, you get a chance to go against um, such high competition like that, a guy that's done it, um, countless amount of times and, and proven amount of years, man. It's uh, just just blessed for the opportunity to just get better every day. Um, it's going to be wins that he wins. It's going to be wins that I win. Um, but at the end of the day, we're just competing to get better and uh, get to that one goal. Titans corner Sean Murphy Bunting hanging out here with us live at training camp. So, I mean, you, you mentioned opportunities. There's opportunities all over the field for, for guys, whether you're coming in as a, a free agent acquisition, whether you're new to the team as a rookie, an undrafted dude, or guys still competing for spots as vets. What do you kind of make of the opportunity that's in front of you right now to, to kind of carve out a role for yourself in the secondary? Yeah, man, just taking it day by day, you know, just building on what I can build on and contributing to the team however I can um, with, the, with the goal in mind of just, like I said, getting better. Um, every day I come out here to perfect my craft and master my craft, and uh, whether that be, you know, just coming out here backpedal, doing footwork drills, doing uh, ball drills, doing everything I can to just become a better corner, um, but a better overall player for this team and, and just trying to get better for myself. You're, you're somebody who understands what it takes to win a championship, yes, and sir. that's something that not a lot of guys have an exposure to. Whether You, know, you mentioned DeAndre Hopkins. DeAndre Hopkins go to the Hall of Fame, hasn't had the opportunity to compete for a championship yet. Right. What kind of experiences can you impart upon teammates who you know, maybe have been in the league longer than you or kind of help, help them understand what it takes to accomplish the ultimate goal, seeing as you've been there yourself? Uh, really, man, it just takes, man, a team, believing in each other, believing in themselves. Um, it just always – working you know never being content with where they are but always trying to get to a higher uh, platform I think um, just by you know the opportunity that I had to play in the Super Bowl and to go to the playoffs um, a few times I know that you know the season's going to have its, its rough points but at the end of the day you have to always fight through adversity and fight through it um, and battle through everything to, to kind of get to that point um, and really just stay composed you know a lot of the times guys can uh, whether it's get a ball caught on you whether it's a touchdown scored you can put your head down you can uh, mobile body can do all these things, but really, man, just staying composed and, and just fighting through, like I said, adversity and just being able to um, bounce back through everything you've been through or whatever you're going through and just know that there's a, a light at the end of the tunnel. What, what, in, what in life, like from a, from a real-life experience standpoint, kind of helped you develop that mentality? It may have as much to do with football as it does to life outside the football field, but is there something that kind of helped you understand that mindset and gives you the ability to compartmentalize the way that you just described? Uh, I mean, um, you know, I've been dealing with it my whole life, really. You know, I've always felt like I was a, a guy that many people say, like, overlooked or underrated or whatever you want to call it. Um, but I took, I took, kind of took that role, man, and just kind of used it as motivation, used it as fuel um, because I've always believed in myself. My family's always believed in me. My coaches have always believed in me. Um, and, I, I, you know, I take that to heart, and I, I really just put my head down and work. I think um, there's many life experiences that, that, you know, can make somebody have that mentality or things like that I've been through. Uh, injuries, you know, I've dealt with injuries. I've dealt with being benched. I've dealt with being um, put on sec second team, third team. I dealt with not playing after playing. So I mean, I've been through such uh, so many things, I guess, throughout my career in the league, and I just don't really take anything for granted now. Um, and so I just try to harp on the opportunities and the possibilities that you have in front of you to just kind of grow on them and just take them day by day. Man, it sounds like you're in the right spot because as long as I've been covering this team for this will be my seventh season, this has been a franchise that's perpetually underrated or underappreciated in that same way as far as their competitiveness is yes, concerned. Sir. And seems like, and I know you guys don't pay attention to things like uh, us vultures are talking about on sports talk radio and stuff like that. But when when you ha understand that kind of a mindset, 
and you're going to a place that has thrived upon it, how how good of a marriage can you expect that to be coming into a place like this, understanding the coaching staff and understanding that they bring the same mentality that you do? Yeah, and that was really a big reason on why I wanted to come here and I wanted to play for the guys here and play with the guys here. Um, you know, I had a conversation with Braves before I signed, and I was able to um, really diagnose him, and he was able to diagnose me on the things that he harps on and the things that, you know, I want to get better at or, or, or my character is, is everything. And um, I just feel like, man, it was, like you said, a perfect – uh, situation, you know, an opportunity to go somewhere where, um, you know, you're getting work. You're gonna work every day to get better. Uh, nothing's handed to you. You gotta earn everything you have. And so, um, just having that opportunity and that mindset, it was just kind of a perfect situation for myself. And uh, I wanted to put myself in that position. A real, it takes a real unique person to be able to diagnose Mike Vrabel. I've been trying to do it for seven <laughs> years. Every time I think I got him, he takes a swing at me. <laughs> no, I don't think I don't think I figured him out just yet. But uh, but I'm trying. Titans corner Sean Murphy Bunting hanging out here with us. We are live at Titans training camp where they have just concluded at least the first day that we've been able to see you guys out here on the practice field. Um, so now now that you've had a little more time to kind of settle into Nashville, and I, 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 should, I should have asked you, did you have a good summer? I had a, I had a great <laughs> Went summer. Went right into football stuff. <laughs> I had a great summer, man. I was able to travel with my family, um, and that's, that's really all I've ever asked for, really to just be able to provide for them and travel for them and uh, give them life experiences as well. Where, where did you uh, where, did you travel anywhere unique, anywhere cool, anywhere you haven't been? Yeah, I traveled to a few places. I've, I've been to a few of them, um, but I traveled to Mexico or, yeah, I traveled to Mexico a few times um, on a cruise, and then I went back um, to Cancun. I went to Puerto Vallarta, Mazelton, and Cabo. Beautiful. Um, and then I went to London. Went to Vegas. You got some uh, advanced scouting on London? Yeah, yeah, I had to go check the field out. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, and then I went to Vegas for a few days to – I went to the summer league games. Yeah. Basketball, so I checked that out. Um, and, yeah, I was in California pretty much training and, and chilling. So how much – so I, I was going to ask you how much time you've had to acclimate to the city of Nashville. It doesn't sound like you've had much of an opportunity at all coming yeah. in here as a free agent and then obviously going into summer break and coming right back for training camp. Yeah, outside of uh, being here for mini camp and OTAs, I have really haven't really done too much. You know, I, I stay in the area that I live in pretty much, and I walk around somewhere, go uh, to a restaurant or something, but I don't really – do too much, so I haven't really experienced anything. Well, as far as as far as acclimating yourself to the community, I know that the successful jocks is a foundation that you've worked really hard to 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 uh, put together and to uh, and to create as a, a successful opportunity for people who you're trying to benefit. Is that something you plan to carry over here in Nashville? Uh, absolutely. I actually um, yesterday, or I want to say Tuesday, I had an opportunity to do a roundtable um, with some kids out in Franklin. Um, and so I was able to, you know, have an open discussion with them and just kind of me and my mom was kind of just talk about, you know, our situations in our life, stories and uh, the things that we do, man. And I try to, you know, just keep myself in the community and I really just try to be a, a wholesome person at the end of the day. You know, you know? Your, your boss just came over here, which means I probably yeah. kept you too long. Uh, yeah, he thinks I'm a pretty boy. <laughs> try to tell him I just got swag. It's a difference. That's okay. <laughs> Now I would I would think this man understands that, that the difference between those two. It's because he don't have no swag. Uh, you gotta have swag to understand swag. But well, he got, he got a little bit of swag. Well, we'll see how he can <laughs> how General Manager Rand Carthon counters here in just a second, Sean. Yes, sir. John, yes, sir. Appreciate, I appreciate you coming you. by the table, big you know, dog. Continued health you. and success. Thank you. That's Titans corner uh, Sean Murphy Bunting sitting down with us here on 104.5 The Zone. We're gonna keep it right here because Titans General Manager Rand Carthon is going to sit down with us.